jungle for his regular habit of hunting deer. After some time of roaming around the jungle, with the companions that came along to give the king company, King Devan and Pritish just saw a deer eating grass at the foot of the Minantala rock. With a rush, he chased after the step. Finally, he was stopped as he heard a voice calling him Tissa. King Devan and Pritish looked over and saw and saw some people wrapped in suffering clothing standing at the top of the Aradhana rock in Minantala. They asked to Arahat Mahinder and his companions. Mahinder asked the king, Is it fitting for a ruler like you, king, to harm living beings? The question echoed in the air, ears in the depths of the king's soul. In that moment, King Devanambhidisa realized the significance of compassion, non-violence and unity among all beings. Overwhelmed by the truth in Mahinder's word, King Ignace Pulsa and so did the entirety of Sri Lanka, marking the new beginning of a new era in the kingdom of Anuradhapur. He continued to propagate Buddhism all over the country by building sacred places to show his gratitude to the Lord Buddha. King Devanamputissa offered the Mahamilnava, which is a royal garden to the Bhikkhus. Later, he also built the center of Theravada Buddhism.
in the sacred circle of the Sri Mahabur, it reflected the power and presence of the Lord Buddha. As Sangamita stepped ashore, the atmosphere seemed to transform with the aura of serenity and spiritual significance. So, King Devana Petisa held a great ceremony to plant the sacred sapling. He planted the sapling on a higher terrace in the Mahamena Park in Anuradhapur.